Okay, I'm just, uh, actually I haven't done this area here. I've, I've done here and here. Let's see what it looks like. I'm not going to, I'm going to stop right here. So you can definitely see a difference. So let me go ahead and get this here. This is just um, actually a generic form of WD-40 and a scotch bright rather soft fine I would call it a fine you get all the oil off of this thing now I don't want any oil some acetone that'll uh that'll certainly remove any oil if I can get the lid off of it <sighs> last can of this I bought somebody had screwed it up Couldn't, it wouldn't close. No, I seem to have screwed it up and it won't open. There we go. A lot of acetone on my towel here. smarter than the can or smarter than the lid in this case I'll, I'll do that later because apparently I'm not feeling very smart that feels pretty much grease free now we're going to take uh, Precision ground flat stones. I'm going to start with the coarse side since this is an unknown surface. Let me condition these a few minutes. Okay, this is going to take off anything sticking up. And like I said, I'm, using, I'm starting with the coarse side and you can listen for it. Sound will change. Wherever it finds anything protruding, it'll shine it up, knock it down. It will not remove any material. It actually feels pretty darn good. 
I don't see any areas, any little shiny spots. I didn't feel anything grabbing. Okay, I had to pause there a moment. Um, Phil from Almost Machining donated these to the Bar Z Summer Bash drawing in 2021. That was the first year that I participated in the online raffle. And uh, he contacted me later and said, listen, send those to me. I'll recondition them anytime, you know, you see the need. And this table feels really good. If there were some bad spots in it, I would have little shiners, little shiny spots or it had removed material, but it's not taking anything. There's a little shining going on here on the edge, meaning that, you know, there was something you know, sticking up there. You can see little shinies, little shiny area. But these stones are amazing. And I tell you what, I mean, I get off on it. I mean, there's, a, there's a, almost something spiritual going on here. Listen to that. Oh, man. And you can kind of recondition them a little bit by rubbing them against each other. I don't know if it's an approved procedure or not, but I'll sometimes... Um, rub the fine on the coarse side and vice versa. Yeah, these are in, uh, this table is in excellent condition. Now, I got the little, uh, Rolock Scotch Bright. I tell you what, there's nothing else I can do to that. that it just sounds, it sounds great. You know, the stones on the table, that is. Um, I think it's well worth uh, getting a set of those. I'd like to have a set of the round ones, the, the, the four inches in diameter, maybe. Okay, well, I'm going to go get my vise, and this will be the first time I ever mounted a vise to a milling machine. So, I think I know how to tram it in, and uh, I guess I'll bring you along with me. Okay, I... Um, Y'all know I don't know what I'm doing. Well, I got a set of parallels over here. That's supporting the, the back of this, I guess. And then I got a shorter parallel here, um, lifting up my, my gauge block 10 degrees. So that slides in there nice. So I guess I can put that back. And I can take this one out. Now I have um, two different tools here. There's a two flute. Uh, end mill looks like it's probably been resharpened. Edges look very good. The tip looks very good. And here's a, uh, a four flute. I have no idea which one to use. I believe I'm... I believe I'm held in there well enough to do this. As long as I take light cuts. And... 
I'm just going to kind of freehand it. Just, uh, I don't even think I got that in at the right angle. So I'm going to take all that material away. Let me thick up here and thin here. Turn it over to the same thing. Yeah, that's right. So I imagine I'm going to come in from here and move this direction. And uh, conventional milling. So I'm not going to do it tonight. As far as the vise being trammed in, I used a, uh, I should have used a, um, a test indicator. I didn't. I put a dial indicator on here, kind of at a weird angle, and I, I trammed on this surface here. Um, <coughs> so... That's uh, that's my setup. I'm not like I said. I'm not going to do anything now. I have my uh, my Magnum vise. Got that at an auction. It suffered a little uh, suffered a little little rust condition while in storage. I thought I cleaned it all up, but I guess I just did a superficial cleaning and I'm going to get some shielding up because I imagine ships are going to go freaking everywhere so it might be a day before I actually turn the mill on so I got some sheets of plastic I'm going to um, devise some kind of form and melt them in the oven to meet that form so I have kind of a kind of a half moon And obviously, it looks like I moved the machine. I used the um, come along and the bolt in the floor to get it spun around. And close to this was actually, this handle was actually touching this bench over here. Then I used an eight foot two by four, sticking in that big slot down there. And Pushing it back an inch at a time. Uh, it got put there, so you know I think that's a good spot. That's what I got. So there it is. Okay, you catch that? Was I busted? Um, So it's uh, 3.30 in the morning now, and uh, I can do this all night long, and uh, I have, uh, I guess what you call a very addictive personality. about it I've uh, my 65 years on this planet I've uh, been addicted to several substances uh, some that some that weren't so healthy for uh, body uh, soul and relationship <coughs> So I gotta pull back every now and then, and uh, that is now. I feel pretty good about it. I didn't do a whole lot. I moved the machine a little bit, no big deal. You know, I got the vice tram, you know, I got the table stone. Uh, but, you know, it, little things, you know, they all take time. You know, 
I feel good about what I got done, and uh, you guys see my setup there. I'm welcome to your criticism, your advice. Uh, I know it doesn't seem like uh, I should. I should probably actually Joe Pye it and have a you know, build a fixture to hold that wedge where it's being held 100% you know, cradled. And no, maybe I will do that. But, uh, yeah, I, I realize that my setup is pretty shaky. And I'm just thinking if I go slow enough, it might be okay. I have no idea what speeds to go. I guess I can open the book up and see. Start you know, figuring out the speeds and feeds charts. I have all the information here. I just have to look at the words and understand them. Well, guys, uh, that's it. Short video, I think. <laughs> like and subscribe. Tell everybody, bring a friend. We'll see you next time.